A longtime South Dakota feed yard nutritionist says that growing more pounds of beef efficiently makes sense for everyone, from ranch to consumer. Implants are probably the longest running, most consistent tool that we have. They have for, they've been around for 50 years and the track record is clean, they are safe. Um, to use them effectively and add value to the system, we just want to make sure that we have the, the, the genetics of the animal, their, their growth potential, the energy that's in, available in their diet, their health, all coordinated so that we can make the most out of the opportunity. Producers have to consider all those factors and management plans when choosing from available products. The implants come with a half dozen different levels of potencies. Um, if you have cattle that are only going to be gaining two and a quarter to two and a half a day, you want to be at a moderate potency implant. If they are big framed cattle that are going to be growing at that growth rate, you might back up to a low potency implant because there's enough growth and frame potential in the genetic makeup of the cattle to make up for the difference in the implants. So many cattle have superior growth genetics today. Their managers might wonder if they even need implants to further boost those gains. Consider any pen of non-implanted steers. Cattle will require just as many days as an implanted steer to be finished, but they'll weigh 100 pounds less. And and the feed bill will be almost as big. The higher the growth potential is, the bigger that difference in weight would have been at the end. Consumers might see or hear negative messages about growth implants, but they do have beneficial effects for people who enjoy beef. The benefit to the consumer is we can provide beef more cost of quality beef more cost effectively than if we don't have the implants. If you take away the implants, you have to have more cows to provide the same amount of beef. If we don't have those tools available, steers need to run on grass longer. Um, while steers are running on grass, they would produce more methane. That would be considered less desirable, and there's less grass in the world. And we could be doing something more productive, like running cows on that grass, generating more food for them, and, and keeping the carbon footprint per serving of beef smaller by using these tools the way we can. I'm Bob Cervera.